Knowing how to make wire wrap loops is a basic skill that every jewelry maker should know how to do. Today we will discuss one method to make wire wrap loops and then we'll make a couple of projects so you have an opportunity to use this skill to make something. make wire wrap loops, basically the only tools you're going to need is some kind of a round nose plier and then a chain nose or a flat nose plier in order to hold on to the loop as you're making it. You also need some kind of a wire cutter. You're also going to need a length of wire. I'm using a rather heavy wire here today so it's a little easier to see. Uh, but basically all you need to do is take your round nose pliers and about an inch or so from the end you grab hold of the wire with the round nose plier and then with your thumb just fold it over so it forms a 90 degree angle take your pliers and hold it right at the peak of the bend and then take the short end of the wire and roll it over the top of your pliers so that you have something that looks a little like a head pin. Grab this loop at the top and take this tail and pull it over around the bottom of the pliers forming a loop. Now with your chain nose pliers grab hold of the loop and then take the tail and wrap it beginning at the top of the loop, wrap it around the trailing wire. Just keep your, keep your wraps nice and close together so that you have a nice secure wrap. For earrings and things, usually you only need one or two wraps, uh, but for other things, you know, necklace, bracelets, charm bracelets, it doesn't ha hurt to have a few more and can even become a part of your piece. Take the tail end and with a pair of cutters, just trim that off. And then with your chain nose pliers, just squeeze that, that end in so that it becomes a part of the wrap. Now, if your wrap isn't to your satisfaction, if there's gaps, you can always take your pliers and squeeze that together so that you have a nice, clean wrap. Okay, let's make something. The first project we're going to make is just an earring. And for this earring, we're going to need just a simple head pin for each earring and then some sort of a bead. I've got this little iridescent heart which I'm going to thread onto the head pin and pull it down tight. And then you can add other beads, crystals, whatever you want. Add one, two, or three. I've just got this little four millimeter red crystal that I'm going to add on. This will form the dangle for an earring or for a charm. Now take your round nose pliers and push it down tight against the top bead. Now a couple of points here. How many loops you're going to wrap or how many wraps you're going to need to do will be determined by where you hold on to this. If you hold it here, we're going to be bending it up here above the pliers and so you're going to have to put a lot of wraps in. I don't really particularly want to do more than one or two wraps and so I'm going to hold it down here at the end and then I'm going to take the wire and with my thumb bend it over approximately 90 degrees. So there's the first bend. Now taking your round nose pliers again, grab it right up there at the peak of the bend. Now again here you have to make a decision. Where you hold the pliers is going to determine the size of the loop. This is a rather delicate earring and so I'm going to keep it 
a little closer to the end for a smaller loop. And then taking your index finger and molding it around the one jaw of the pliers, I'm going to bring it around and bring it up to the front of the earring. And looking at it from the side, you can see I've got that hairpin look again. Pull your pliers out, put them back in, holding it from the top. And then take the wire and continue to wrap it around the bottom jaw of the plier so that we form a loop. Then taking the chain nose pliers, I'm going to grab the loop. And the main reason for doing this is just so the loop maintains its shape. And then wrapping, starting with the loop, starting at the loop and wrapping down towards the pendant. You just proceed to do one, two, or three wraps. I'm going to get approximately two wraps here completed. And then with your cutters, just trim the tail of that wire off. Push the little sharp end in. And we've got a dangle for an earring. We've got an ear wire here and we can open up the ear wire again take your chain nose pliers and hold on to the loop and just twist it out put the loop from your dangle on to that with your pliers again twist the loop back And you have you have an earring. Repeat the process, and you've got a pair of simple earrings. Uh, this would work for an adult or for a child, uh, just depending on what you want to do. But you can use any kind of a bead, and just make a simple dangle like this. To make something a little more complicated, I've got a couple of fun beads here. I've got this little blossom bead that's made out of aquamarine. And then I have just a little six millimeter round crystal. This is a real high quality crystal with an AB finish. And we're gonna do this in a couple of parts. First off, I'm gonna take a head pin and we'll put this through the base of the aquamarine blossom and then we'll make a then we'll make a wrapped loop at the top again we'll hold on to it i don't want a very big loop i don't want to have to do a lot of wraps so i'm going to hold it fairly close take my thumb and bend it over so that we have a right angle reposition my pliers so it's right at the peak of that bend and then we're going to bring the, the wire over the top of the pliers and down the side. Pull the pliers out. And you can see we've got the kind of this hairpin look to the wire. Reinsert the pliers holding it from the top. And then take this wire and continue to mold it around the jaw of the plier so that we form a loop. Take the chain nose pliers, hold on to it at the top of the loop, and then wrap the wire wrapping from the loop down towards the pendant at least one time. And in this case, I'm going to get two wraps in. Pull it nice and tight, bring your cutters in, trim the tail away, and 
and squeeze that in. Now we're going to take a length of wire. I've got some 24 gauge silver plate wire here and we need about two and a half, three inches for each one of the earrings. You could use 22 gauge as well. 24 might be a little easier to work with for a beginner and it's a little finer and it kind of matches the head pin. Now about, about an inch from the top, I'm going to grab hold of the wire, uh, approximately the same place I did for making the loop on the, on the aquamarine, fold it over, grab it up where the peak is, wrap it over the top, remove the pliers, there's the hat pin, insert the pliers back into the loop at the top, and then pull it around so that you continue and you make the loop. Now before we wrap the loop, we're going to take this aquamarine pendant and we're going to insert, insert the short end through there so that it, so you can see it links into that. Now with the pendant, held up above, I'm going to grab hold of this loop with my chain nose pliers with the very tip of the pliers. So make sure that I've got room to wrap underneath. And then I'm going to make two full wraps. Around the trailing wire. Take the cutter. Trim the wire and take that little sharp end and squeeze it in close. So we've got a dangle connected to another wire with two wrapped loops. I've got this little six millimeter faucetted crystal. I'm going to put it onto the put it onto the wire push it down tight, come back with the round nose pliers, grab it at the top. Again, you know, try to keep it at about the same place on the pliers that you've done the earlier ones. And then we do it all over again. Take your thumb, bend it over approximately 90 degrees, reposition your pliers at the, at the top of the bend, Bring the wire over the top, mold it around the pliers, remove the pliers, check, make sure you've got a good, good hairpin look, reinsert the pliers, holding it at the top, and then pull the wire around so that we form a nice loop. Get your chain nose pliers, hold onto that loop, and then about two wraps. Uh, one thing to point out here is if you have a hard time, if it's tight or your fingers are weak, you can always take another pair of pliers and use it to help you wrap. Okay, bring in the cutters. And trim that wire up nice and close. Bring your chain nose, clean up that loose end a little bit. And there we've got a two-part dangle. Now for this one, I've got a little lever back ear wire. And the lever back up at the top has a loop with a cut in it. And so we're going to grab this on the cut side with the chain nose pliers. And that way you can open up the loop enough that you can insert the 
a wire loop that we've made onto it. And then with your chain nose pliers again, close that loop back up so that it holds it securely in place. And we have uh, a second type of an earring. A little more complicated than the first, but still fairly simple and quick, to, quick and easy to make. So here in just a short amount of time, we've put together two different earrings. Now, if you'd be interested in printed instructions on how to do the wire wrapped loop, uh, there's a link down in the show notes down below. Also, there's a link if you need the materials or a kit for making the aquamarine. And we would throw in the other one as well. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you're interested in receiving more. Click the like. Uh, also, ring the bell, and that way you'd be notified of any future patterns or instructions, tutorials that we might come, out, come up with. We thank you for your time and look forward to seeing you again soon. That's a wrap.